Before we begin making our collagraph print, we first have to make a plan. So I want you to pick a few sea creatures to put in your picture and some plant life as well. And once you like the idea that you came up with, then we can start making our collagraph printing plate. So each of us are going to get a piece of cardboard like this. You're gonna start by writing your name on the back. Okay. And then we're each going to get a piece of foam board. Every single person is going to get one piece. And what you should do is you should start by drawing all of the shapes onto the foam board. Make sure that you draw them really close together so that you have enough space for everything. If you really spread them out, you won't be able to fit everything on here. I would suggest drawing in pencil first. That way, if you make a mistake, you can erase it. I drew mine with permanent marker just so that you could see it a little bit more clearly. So if you can see, I redrew all the shapes on here. Um, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look the same because once I cut them out, then I can arrange it how I'd like to on my cardboard piece right here. Once you have everything drawn how you want on this piece of foam board, then you can go ahead and cut it out. Now that I've got all the pieces cut out, I'm just going to go ahead and arrange it the same way that it looks in this picture. I'm gonna to try to make sure that they match here a little bit. It doesn't matter so much that I can see these marker marks here because once we put the ink on there, then we won't be able to see them anymore. So that doesn't matter too much. Okay. And if I have to make a few adjustments, then that's okay too. It doesn't need to be perfect here. But that looks pretty good. I think I had it the other way around here. And I see that the only thing that I'm left that's missing here are these little dots where the eyes are, the bubbles, and these little decorations on my um, jellyfish here. I don't wanna glue pieces on top because then a lot of times you can't see some of the surrounding picture. So instead, I'm going to be using hole punchers in order to get that effect. So for my, the eye, I might use one that's rounded or I could even switch up the shape from what I have here. On the jellyfish, I have these sort of flowery shapes. So for that one, I'm going to be using a flowery shaped hole puncher here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that's like. So it ends up looking a little bit like that. And it gives it a really cool effect. So there's my jellyfish. And then I might actually use a different shape for the eyes if I can find one. Maybe I'll even use a little heart shape for the eye here. You can be creative with yours also. Just try to make sure you're paying attention to where that hole is going. You might need to look at it from the side just to make sure it's lined up where it should be. And then once it looks like it is, then punch it there. So there is mine. And then lastly, I'm going to use that circular one and some of my scraps just to make some of those little bubbles that are floating up. All right. And then once I have all of these where I think it belongs, I have the holes punched out, then I can start to glue it down. Now, something you may have noticed as I was gluing these down was that I was actually using a lot of glue. You can even see some of the glue came out of the sides. You don't want too much of that sticking out of the sides, but you do want to use a good amount of glue because if you don't and you rub your brayer along our printing plate, then um, those pieces could peel up and then you won't be able to get the print that you're looking for. So really make sure actually for this project only that we're using a lot of glue to make sure that these are down completely. Um, and then once this dries, then we'll be able to start pulling our prints. <laughs> 